I guess you can YouTube it. You want to YouTube it? You can point it at me. Hey, mine. All right, so we got our, what do you call this thing? Uh, expert grill thermometer. They can test the temperature of the soil. This thing goes to minus 20 degrees. What did we pay for this thing? $10? Yep. $10, it's a pocket thermometer. Folds up nice, clips in so that you don't have to worry about it. Got it at Walmart for 10 bucks. Hey, pick, pick it up. For $10. I didn't read the instructions, but for the most part, it's already calibrated. You can switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit on the inside, but you turn it on. It comes on at 77 degrees. And the voice watch this, Mom. Come here, Will. It's a little bit damp here in this spot, but. Can you find the spot? I'll tell you what our temperature is in the soil. Get eight. Hands. 66 degrees. Yeah, I can't there. 66 degrees. So at 66 degrees, 64, 63. Ow. What Will you leave me alone? Why is with you? You know what's with him. <laughs> so at 63 degrees, you think we can plant corn? Oh, we can plant corn at 55. We're good. We're I can golden. plant corn. Let's go. We're going, but we're not planting corn, corn yet. It's too wet. Cause you can plant corn, I can I can do the beans. I go plant corn. We can, but it's too wet. I go plant I, I, corn. It's still too wet. The slots, it'll smear the sidewall and make a mess. So I we're not doing that. Corn. We gotta wait till it dries out. So I go plant corn. We're getting there. Come here, you. Okay. I gave him a Twix. A lot of Twix. So you're on sugar high, aren't you? Corn. The cops are after us. Did the cops? Uh oh. There's one, he's pulled over, the other one's over there. What are they doing? Uh oh. He's turning around. Jen, 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 Jen. That Someone guy's pulling in over in there, trouble. making the rafters for making a stink, you know. That isn't the first time that's happened. What, you the police? You get somebody that calls up and says, I think they're, they're spreading sludge or chemicals or whatever. It's welcome to New I Jersey. I can't you want me to throw you up in the air as high as I can? Yep. Okay. Oh no, Daddy, okay, no! <laughs> All right. Let's go. We're gonna park you in your car seat. Oh, you got some sunflowers? Yeah. Uh -huh. You're all busy. I got your chicken nuggets. You don't eat it. You're not that hungry then. Eat them up. Ooh, yummy. Advanced nutrition formula. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw yummy. them in the uh, in the grain grill and run them as a, po a pollinator. Okay. That's all. I'm not even gonna, you know, no herbicide or anything. Just after I get the beans, planted, put it I'll in do here. It here. After I get the beans planted and they're up and running, and I spray everything, then I'll just go ahead and run them through. I go plant corn. Not heavy, just you know, a little. That's it. A little. Just a little. Just a pollinator, so that the bees have some place to go. God damn, this kid is so fast. Oh, he's, what did he do? He grabbed my phone, just like that, out of my out of my ass pocket. You got an ass pocket? Yeah, I do. Oh, your prison wallet? Ass pocket. Hey, and he thinks I'm gonna chase his ass. Here, give me that. Come here, grab my stuff and better be behave yourself okay so uh this is why the axles broke on the spreader all right so this compost was brought in well it was brought in over several months in this particular spot but uh where i'm digging at right now is actually some of the newer stuff that i brought in uh where i loaded the spreader from was on the far right hand side and that has been sitting there for eight months. I actually brought it in last fall. Before we started corn, or yeah, before we started the corn, or right, right then and there somehow, and then later it was November that I brought it in. November, December, I brought a bunch more in and dumped it there. There's over 20 loads here. I had stacked them up pretty good and, and then piled them up. So there was an extraordinarily large amount of weight on that spreader. Now that spreader only had 7,000 pound axles. I did not order that. You can see now where the pile is to the right there. Uh, that 
was there was actually eight loads in that little clump where the green grass is growing out of the top of it. Uh, that is really, really heavy because there was a pool of water in the middle of it. And I guess I just, I loaded that thing to the hilt. And I mean to the hilt. There was no room in that spreader. And Teresa did not break it. I did. Uh, I was just on Instagram. I was just being silly and said that she had broken it. But she didn't. It was me. Uh, anyway, uh, enjoy the next few clips. And you'll see where and why and what had happened. All right. So uh, <laughs> my son, William, he goes, he'll get my camera. And he uh, mimics what I say, which is pretty cool. But he's like, OK, so OK, so which I find to be rather funny. But anyhow, oop, I'm going too fast. I'm spreading compost. You can see that out the back there. She just spreading away. Um, this is going to be corn. All this is going to be corn. I'm going to have 600 acres of corn. Uh, the ground is cold but warmer than I thought it would be. It's actually, I went down and I bought this little thing, or I had Teresa go pick it up at Walmart. It's uh, yeah, it's basically a barbecue grill gizmo uh, thermometer that you can stick. It has a probe. I mean, check this out. Ready? Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. So it has a probe on it, and you just jam that stuff down in the dirt. It's metal, so it'll, you know, do its thing. I'm pretty pleased with it. Uh, checks ambient pressure, obvious, or ambient uh, temperature, and what's in the soil, and wherever else you stick it. If you want to stick it in your heart, you can. I wouldn't recommend that because, you know, you're not going to live to read the number. But anyway, um, working on spreading all this compost that I have. And I mean, I got a lot of compost that needs to be spread. Uh, running out of days. Uh, I've got 250 acres of soybeans planted. I need another 150 acres to go in. Um, not really a big problem to come up with 150 acres to put soybeans in. But it's just one of those things that... People have gotten so accustomed to the fields looking like this that they don't want something else on their property. And unfortunately, these fields here that look like this, um, they're beautiful, they're green. Uh, they're going to go into a row crop, I'm sorry. That's just the way it's gonna work out. Uh, corn is going in here because uh, growing hay for the mushroom industry at this point is a losing proposition. Ah, well, now we're back to figuring something else out. That's all. William, you're going to get buried. You just want to play in that, don't you? Hey, do you want to play in that? <laughs> Go ahead. Jump in. No! <laughs> it's stinky. Stinky. Yeah, don't get in there. Come on. William, get your butt, butt out of there. Hey, you want to film? Okay. Well, we're just going to see how much comes out, how fast it comes out. Dad will just push it up. You're always going so. Who's so? You always start with your video with so. Well, it's been an exciting day so far because we've had. Uh, we had a police situation. We had, police show up. We had uh, There's always good times when the police show up because we have Crazy Joe, you know, Crazy Joe at the end of the road. He's, he's a bit of a psychotic nut, so we have to deal with him. The other tires underneath there. I thought I felt something break, and then when I got through here, I was like, uh oh, and then BAM! The other one. Good thing I wasn't there, I'd probably freak out, like, oh no! You know how I get. Hey, don't get in the mud. There's no fish. There's fish fish in there, Will. They're gonna bite your toes. I gotta call him because I got it on a foot pedal. Oh, yeah. William, get out of there! Stinky boy. No, you gotta take the book pedal off. William, yuck! Ay, talaga naman.
Hey, Jew, wandering Jew. He's a wandering Jew. You have to wait for Grandpa. Grandpa's gonna help Daddy. Yes. But I think that's okay. Yeah, it went flying. That's okay. That's good. Uh, well, he said he says um, he says if you want bigger tires, you're gonna have to do something with the fender. Says yeah, I'll chop some bitches off of there. I like you. <laughs> <laughs> you make my day. Oh, not, oh, 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 oh. Jesus Christ. Ouch. <laughs> hard on equipment. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I don't want to see it. No.
good fish on the other side right there. Good fish? Good fish, there. Good fish over there. Really? Is that a county owned or a private owned? Out township. And they got the fresh water, all the fresh water so. Really? About the only place I know it is. Is here. So what is he gonna do now? He flip it like a freaking tootsie roll, then what? Oh, he's talking. <clears throat> Excuse me. It didn't break. Roll over the, uh, the the spreader. Look at that. She's Louis Vuitton in it today. I wouldn't be going to Georgia with Louis Vuitton, so let's put that thing in the back. Wow. You can't leave it. Anyway, so did you flip the spreader over? You did. I did not. Because you were farming with a hard on. I was farming with a hard on. We gotta make hats like that. I think those were pretty farming fun. Farming with a hard on? Yeah, farm hard bullshit. Farming with a hard on. So now I was uh, going through a uh, ditch, a waterway, uh, that's the only access to the field for those of you that are freaking out right now for driving through a waterway. Uh, here's the deal. Drove through the waterway and I felt something go pop and I thought, well, that thing must have slid down into the wheel track there. And then I felt the uh, other one go and the whole thing went boom over on its side. So I it? flipped it. It went boom. Like dong dong silver. Mm -hmm. ah. uh, we're going out. We're going to go out uh, down to the Shenandoah Valley. That's the way to go. So we got to go out a uh, car a while. Like we're going to get tires. Okay. So anyway, uh, we snapped those axles off. It'll be a week before I get them. Why is it a week? You did it. We, we are going. You're not going. You're not coming. No, no, no. Them. You snapped them. We snapped the axle. No, no, no. You snapped them. We meaning me and William. Oh, okay. Because you know we have to be literal. It wasn't really the crazy Asian that did it. It was we. We the we the people of the tractor. Me and William. Uh, I had just dropped her off. Where did you get to? How far had you gotten before? Uh... I was picking up asparagus when you called me. 
I don't know, she was cooking asparagus when I called her. So anyway, uh, called down to Chandler as I was unloading the thing, and Chandler says, yeah, we can update that to a 10,000 pound axle. Uh, heavier rims, you just gotta come up with rims because we can't get rims, and uh, that was just the long and the short of it. So now I'm on my way to Georgia, Gainesville, Georgia, to pick up uh, axles for this thing. Isn't that where our big lens going? He lives in Georgia, yeah. We should probably stop by to see him. We won't get there today. We won't get there till tomorrow. Well, maybe after when we pick up the plane. We probably could if he's home. Yeah, maybe that's an idea. I'll see if I can drop him a dime. I don't know. I gotta be back here though, you know. Maybe it's gonna rain on Saturday anyway. I don't doubt. I don't count on rain. Do you count on rain? No. I don't count on rain anyway either. But you know what? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just go ahead and. Uh, we're going to chronicle our drive and you'll see it in a couple days. Thanks for watching.